Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel of DCC and IT Agatala. And today we are going to discuss problem uh, sorting with two of code forces round 907. So if you haven't read the question, I will explain you it once. So basically you have been given an array A, let's say A1, A2, A3, AI, AI plus 1, AN. And you can perform uh, operation, one operation on it. Okay, you can perform one operation and you can do it uh, zero number of times or infinite number of times. Okay, so what does that operation look like? So first of all, in that operation, you can choose an integer m. Non, it should be non-negative, such that two to the power m uh, should be less than or equal to n. And what you can do after that is, for every i uh, from i is equal to one to i is equal to two to the power m, just uh, subtract one from that index so like from a just do a i is equal to a i minus one for i is equal to zero till i i is equal to two to the power m so this is what you can do and at the end you just have to tell that can you make that array uh, non decreasing or not so basically a1 should be less than equal to a2 a2 should be less than or equal to a3 so hopefully you understood the question now let's see some test cases to understand it better so let's check out this second test case only so you can see this array is not non decreasing so uh, what you can do is you can see 6 is greater than 5 and 5 is greater than 3 so let's see can we make this non can we make this array non decreasing uh, by performing the following operation so let's just see first its indices okay so this is uh what one index second index third fourth fifth index so you can see that this entire part is non decreasing like three is greater than equal to four uh, four is greater than equal to three four is greater than equal to that previous four so we don't have to worry about this we just have to make it less than equal to three okay so can we make it less than or equal to 3 well i can choose m is equal to 1 i can choose m is equal to 1 so 2 to the power m is equal to 2 so so from 0 from 1 till 2 index i can subtract minus 1 and i will do that two times because i need to make it at least 3 so i will do the following operation two times so whatever array ladder it will look like 6 minus 2 which is 4 and then 3 and then it will remain as it is 3 4 4 because you see from 2 to the power m uh, for every i for i is equal to 0 till 2 to the power m you can subtract minus 1 so i did this following operation two times for m is equal to 1 now you can see that this index is again greater than the further index so can we do operation one more time to make it non decreasing let's see this is first index second third fourth fifth so what if i choose m is equal to zero so two to the power m will become one so i can do uh, the following operation for first index from first till first index so yeah i will just delete minus one till it becomes uh, three so what you can see is if we look at this bigger test case okay let's understand by this test case so what you can do is if i choose any index to the power m let's say i chose this index uh, i chose this index so if i perform operation on this so basically this is my 2 to the power m this will be my 2 to the power m 2 to the power m so this is my 2 to the power m if I perform operation on this, so from this entire thing minus one will be deleted, but uh, will the uh, what if the following thing is decreasing or increasing? Will it matter? It won't matter after doing the operation because from every index minus one is being deleted. So yeah, that is one of the uh, observation. And 
it's better if you see it's better if you start uh, checking from behind so what i can do is uh, let's give them indexes first one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can see this is uh, uh, it can be in form of 2 to the power m this can be in form of 2 to the power m this can be in form of 2 to the power m this can also be in part of form of 2 to the power m so let's uh, loop from behind let's slip loop from behind so uh, what to make this thing non decreasing i need to make this eight uh, at least equal to seven so can i do that yeah to uh, this index eight can be of form two to the power m uh, let's say Uh, this is M uh, this is indexes and this is our array A so if I choose M is equal to 3 so 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 so I can delete minus 1 from this entire thing so this thing will become 7 right so yeah I can perform the operation but what if the what if there was one more number let's say four and this will become eighth eighth index and this will become ninth index and this will become tenth index now can you make this eight as seven you cannot nine cannot be written in form of two to the power m so you just can't you just can't delete minus one from it you just can't keep deleting minus one from it so it's just not possible so the thing is clear that uh, I will start uh, uh, looping. I will start loop from behind, and what I will do is I will just check, just check if my uh, previous number, if my previous number is greater than my current number, if my previous number is greater than the, my current number, then I just have to check that whether, whether uh i minus one whether this current index can be written in form of of two to the power m or not so you have to do only this thing if you uh if you find this then check whether this i minus one can be written in form of two to the power m or not if it can't be written then your answer is no if for every such condition to the power m font can be returned for i minus one then the answer is yes so that was pretty much it now i will show you the implementation part so uh, this is int n i took a value of n in this and then i made a vector where i will store my elements from i is equal to one till my n plus one index so I stored my uh, element in that. I made this uh, boolean variable to check if that condition happens, and if to, and if i minus one is not of the form to the power m, then I will just make that boolean false, and then I will break it. And and if the boolean is false, just return no. And if the boolean is true, just return yes. But how will you check whether the i minus one is of the form to the power m or not so if you have learned a uh, bit manipulation or if you have idea of bits so you might have known that uh, if uh, let's say if a is an integer if a is integer and if uh, a bitwise and a minus 1 is equal to 0 if a and bitwise and if a bitwise and a minus 1 is equal to 0 then a can be written in form of 2 to the power m uh, yeah so this is what you can use this so if v1 my uh, previous index is greater than my further index then i will just check this is my a okay so a bitwise and a minus 1 if is not equal to 0 means it is not of the form 2 to the power m just make it false so yeah uh, that was pretty much it and if you don't know what this thing is or if you are new to this uh, let me just 
extenuated two minutes so you can use it in further context so let's say uh, a is equal to 4 or a is equal to 8 so what is binary representation of 8 1 0 0 0 uh, yeah to the power 0 to the power 1 to the power uh, 2 to the power 3 yeah so if a is equal to 8 this is my binary representation and what is a minus 1 a minus 1 is 7 and its binary representation is 0 1 1 1 and what if you do and of it so a and a minus 1 uh, it will be like 1 0 0 0 and 0 1 1 1 so basically 0 0 0 0 if you do and on it so you see if a and a minus 1 is equal to 0 that means my uh, this a is of form 2 to the power m and here m is 3 so yeah you can check like that if whether a number is 2 to the power m or not so yeah that was pretty much the problem uh, operation uh, example and yeah that was pretty much it uh, if you have any doubts just uh, tell that in comment section and yeah thank you